What's up guys, MC Stu here today with this week's news update for Star Trek Online. We have a research and development and junior officer weekend. And what we're going to get for this for the R&D portion of it is starting on the 7th through the 13th. All R&D resource packs that you get from queuing for normal, advanced, and elite are going to give us 25% additional R&D materials, which is nice if you need to build up a little bit of that stock for crafting, batteries, or other items from the R&D system. Additionally, any of the uh, nodes that you can mine in the game. So when you're going through missions, flying through space in particular maps, you'll have items where you can go up to them, scan them, do the little puzzle and get uh, R&D materials. You will get an additional two extra R&D materials for that, which is nice, as well as an extra 10 um, dilithium ore, uh, which isn't a ton, but hey, that's something. Um, looks like we'll also have a chance to get an R&D catalyst, which is kind of nice. So that would be the plus however much percent quality boost or tech point boost, those kinds of things. Or no, I'm sorry, that's for your upgrades. This would be for um, applying when you are crafting something that would give you a higher chance of getting a better quality item when you're crafting. So that's kind of nice to do. And if you can get your hands on a couple of those, that would be pretty cool. Uh, if you're also working on uh, progressing through the different R&D schools, uh, there's a nice big chunk of extra 50% of points that will be counted towards that. So if you're looking to progress through any of those schools, now would be the time to uh, grind that out as hard as you can over the next few days. Um, so not too bad if uh, those are things that you're interested in working on. Um, now is the time to do those through the weekend. Next, we have a junior officer event. And um, what this is going to do, it's basically your duty officer um, missions are going to give you an extra 50% um, for commendation. So if you have just rolled your first uh, Gemidar or Gamma recruit, some very nice rewards for leveling up the commendation uh, system in that. Um, so doing that over this weekend would be very uh, good idea um, if you want to uh, make some good progress on that with that extra 50%. If you run these uh, with the boosts that you can get from the exchange or boxes, um, those will also uh, give you an additional boost on top of that. I don't know if they stack directly, but if you have them both running, you'll get a better bang for buck for your time. Um, we'll kind of skip down here just for a moment because we'll come back up to this other one here in just a moment because we will jump in game to look at that. Um, in the C store, all the duty officer packs are on sale and you, have, uh, you can get an additional free... Uh, it's not free because you're paying, but an additional uh, green quality or better duty officer inside each one of those. Uh, so that's kind of cool. There is also an event running down on Starfleet Academy, and um, this involves running around the map. We'll take a look at this in a moment, scanning these uh, these orbs to collect traces. You can turn the traces in for different levels of quality duty officers, and you can see the breakdown here, 5, 25, 50, or 75. I did the 75 once. It took me a few hours. Uh, the duty officer I got because they are random wasn't worth my time. <laughs> uh, but you could get a, a good duty officer that you need, like an ox to bat or, you know, something like that. One of those duty officers. Um, so that's up to you. If you haven't tried it out, um, definitely you know, give it a shot and see if uh, that's something you're interested in doing. Um, let's go ahead and jump into game and we'll just take a quick look at the event. And then also the last bit of this where we have a free duty officer that they're going to give us um, and I'll show you where to go, where to get that, and what that's all about. Uh, lastly, before we jump into game as well, let's just mention that there is a Lobby sale going. It is 20% off everything in the Lobby store, and they have also added the Tal Shiar Adapted Destroyer to it. Um, it's a little bit pricey at 1200 Lobby. Um, the ship looks cool. It's unique. Um, it's not a bad ship, but it's not a good ship either. So... Um, Take that for what it's worth. You'll have to look at the wiki, look at the stats, and see if that's something you're interested in. But if you're not someone that you know opens boxes and those kinds of things, or you still have a bunch of lobby left over from one of the events from last year, or you've completed this one early, uh, now is a potential time if this is a ship that you're looking for where you can get without opening boxes or, or buying it off of the exchange. So 20% through the weekend until Monday the 13th. Um, all right, let's go ahead and jump into game here, and we're going to run over and beam down to Starfleet Academy so we can take a look at the event and take a look at the free duty officer that we can get. Free du duty officers must have if you haven't grabbed it. 
Um, you will only be able to get it once. So next time the event comes up, you won't be able to get a second one. If you delete it, you will not be able to get a replacement either. So um, if you get it, make sure you don't delete that. So here are these orbs, and I'm not gonna go through all of this here, but I'll just kind of show you where you need to go. So if we go over to this corner over here, I'll show you on the map. Um, you'll see as soon as you beam down, there'll be a big green circle around it. You'll go over there, talk to this person, and then you're going to run around the map and find these these little blue orbs. You're going to scan them. There's a little kind of kind of a puzzle thing. It comes up and tells you um, here. I'll just click on it. I, I don't remember which one's which, but just so you can see it here, um, we want to start. And then so it'll ask you if it's what kind of action you want to take. So, you know, what kind of scan and you need to pick the right one. If you pick the right one, it'll give you a trace. If you don't, it'll most likely beam in an enemy that you will have to fight. Um, so you'll fight the enemy off and then you'll be able to go and find another one to scan. Once you scan it and you collect the trace, once you get the desired amount that you want, you'll just go back over to the mission giver, turn them in, and they will give you the duty officer. Um, that is repeatable, so if you want to farm some out maybe on a lower level or for whatever reason, then you can just run around and keep doing this all day if you would like. Um, the free duty officer, when you beam down, every time I beam down here, it drops me off somewhere different. Last time it dropped me off in this grass over here, which is kind of weird. Um, but we're going to go over to this building here. Once I get over, I'll pull up the map just so you can see exactly where it is. And we're going to go in this door here. But before, let's take a look at the map. So it's just right across from where that green circle is, right up against the ocean, this big round building. We are going to go in and find the officer. So you will talk to this guy. I think his name's Droll or something like that. You'll just click on it, talk to him, and it's done. You'll have popped up down here that duty officer, and you will have him in your roster. Let's take a look at the exocomp stats here for the Fed side. Um, so what we're going to get is this duty officer, when you have it slotted, active in space, it is going to give you additional bonuses or buffs to your batteries that you use. And we'll just look at a couple of the examples here. Uh, so for weapons batteries, we're going to get an increase for damage by 10%. For 20 seconds, shield batteries is going to give us plus 10 damage resistance rating for 20 seconds. If you're running the red matter capacit capacitor, it's going to give you an additional five um, all power bonus or all power settings uh, on top of that red matter capacitor for 20 seconds and the list goes on basically each of the batteries that you could use will give you an additional buff or boost either to that battery's ability or something that is similar along the lines of it so some of it does vary out just a little bit if you are on the kdf side and you want to do the trace collecting event you're going to beam down to the klingon academy let me pull up the map once you beam down you you normally beam down somewhere around here. You're going to run into the building here and you will be able to pick up the mission from this person standing right here to my right. And that's also where you'll turn in your traces for the duty officer for KDF. You're going to come and talk to this guy here and you are going to pick up the reinforcement mission. Once you do that, you will go over and then talk to this guy here. He doesn't light up for me because I've already claimed him. Once you talk to him, you can turn it into him and that will get you your duty officer. Now your duty officer on the KDF side will not be an exocomp. It is actually gonna be a Reman. Uh, and it is this guy, I believe, right here. Yep. And he is going uh, going to do the exact same thing that the exocomp does. So it's just for the KDF side, it'll be a Reman as opposed to the exocomp. All right, guys. Well, I hope that was helpful. If you haven't picked up your duty officers yet, uh, make sure you go ahead and do that. Take advantage of the R&D weekend as well and your commendation XP boost that you get this weekend. If you're looking to pick something up for Lobby, uh, now would be the time with a 20% off sale. Um, all right. Well, until next time, guys, have a good one. Appreciate you watching. Hey guys, appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, ring the bell, and sub to the channel for the latest news updates and how-to guides.